I really want to start making some videos, video blogs again. Um, I like the format. Uh, I find it easier to get my ideas out and talk about the things I'm doing. So I want to talk about some of the stuff that I'm doing um, as a developer, uh, really. So I can't talk about loads of stuff that I'm doing at work just because of the uh, uh, hoops that I would have to jump through in order to make that possible. But So while I'm at work, I'm working on stuff that I'm working on. I'm 50% on, or sorry, I'm 85% on one project and 15% on another. They're both at integration phases. So I'm dealing with bugs and things like that, uh, making things work in 97 mostly. Outside of that, um, I've got three talks coming up this month. Today is July 3rd. Uh, let me just check my calendar. So on the 11th of July, it's uh, eight days away, I will be talking at AsyncJS. It's a local meetup group in Bright. I'll be talking about GruntJS. I'll be giving my um, Grunt Your Way to Glory uh, talk. It's going to change quite a lot. Um, from the last time I gave the talk, just through feedback and through things that I've been doing with Grant lately, I felt that the talk needed to change quite a bit and I needed to get shaken up a bit. So uh, that should be cool. Some new slides in there, things like that. Some new little bits. Uh, I'm going to talk more about um, using uh, Usemin which I just started using uh, some, uh, it's a grunt plugin developed by the people who created Yeoman I think it's on their github so I assume it's their, their thing that they created and it allows you to use inline scripts in your development <clears throat> and then when you run your build script it looks at the comments at the top of those and creates your uh, creates your minified files and that through that so that's what I'm doing then on the 15th then that's the Monday after I'm talking at London JS again. It's the Grant Your Way to Glory talk. It's the talk that I've been refining. So it's the one I've been given a lot at local meetups. I think it's I think it's quite a good talk. I hope it's quite helpful as well. And then on the nineteenth, I'm going down back to Brighton. Um, it's the place where everything's happening to do a one day no JS course with Remy Sharp. And I'm looking forward to that because uh, whilst I've done a little bit of Node.js, I really um, just kind of want to see how people do it more. And, and you know, it's it's my company's paid for the training, which is really good of them. So uh, I had the option to do that. I just want to go and do a Node workshop. I really want to do start doing more things in Node. And then on duh, 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 the 25th, I give a I give the grunt your way to glory talk one more time for this month at Front in London, which again hopefully by then I would have got some feedback from talk at async and then the talk at London JS to really get it down. This is a this is also a talk that you know I've been pitching to um, other conferences and so um, it's been really good to give this talk. So those are my talks that I'm doing this month. In terms of little side projects that I'm working on, um, I'm working on a thing that we're going to use inside of Sapient called, uh, well, I'm just calling it Greenhorn, and it's to help people get started with projects. It's a bit like Yeoman, but without all the generators and stuff. It's just like a base project they can download and get started with. My argument for creating it is like, <clears throat> while Yeoman's great, and I love it, and I have the hoodie to prove that I love it, um, some people just just don't want to pick up things and I want to see projects get started quicker like the Yeoman team do and so my way of helping them is like all right okay here's here's a base project here's how you start um, it's not going to be as complex as Yeoman it's not going to have generators or anything it's just really just like you know you download a zip unzip it and that's your base project I'm also working on a bunch of grunt scripts that are um, that show how Grunt works, so I can get people who I work with more used to working with Grunt, uh, seeing how 
going from like a really basic script that will minify CSS and JavaScript, working up to something that uses uh, Assemble or um, Require.js or something like that and bundles that together. So I'm working on those two things. Hopefully, I will have those both ready like within the next day or so. Um, so when I'm doing my talk on Grunt.js, I can say, oh yeah, I've put up these bunch of like really simple Grunt scripts and anyone can use them. And it's part of our open source thing. We're doing a Sapien Nitro at the moment. Um, we're trying to put more out there. Other than that, um, I'm trying to get my head around accessibility. It's something that I've been meaning to do as a developer for ages. I've posted a couple of videos, um, uh, like literally today I've recorded them about accessibility on these bad boys on, on, on touch screens because it's something that really interests me and I'm going to keep digging into that. I want to do some posts or some bits for the a11myproject.com run by the great Dave Rupert um, and I want to do some stuff for that around touch screen and, and, and devices and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to do these updates when I can more for my own personal reasons so I can kind of look back on this year and remember what I did and maybe why I did it.